This just in. Thousands gather here today at the Capitol Building of the United Federation of Planets, located in Paris, France, on Earth. A large number of these people came from all over the sector, to protest against the current war between the Federation and the Klingon Defense Force. Not only has the Federation been at war with the KDF, but they've also been dealing with other major disturbances such as the Borg, the Romulans, the True Way, the Terran Empire, the Undyne, and the possible return of an ancient threat that was commonly referred to as the Demons of Air and Darkness. Many anti-war protesters argue that Federation diplomacy has not been what it used to be, as recent attempts in opening diplomatic negotiations with the Klingons have all but failed. President Okeg has been spending most of his time dealing with the war efforts inside his office, away from public view. It is no surprise that the general public is concerned, and upset about the Federation's current situation. The war, has put a strain on its residing members, as demand for more resources, ships and personnel, increase. The deaths of countless loved ones, has left thousands of families in despair, and the death toll of Federation officers has already reached over the millions. Worried parents and guardians have been questioning whether or not it's safe to let their children join Starfleet. The Andorian president, has had very strong opinions against the war, and has felt guilty, ever since she gave the Federation permission to recruit the Ena into their ranks. Communities from all over the sector, are demanding their loved ones, to be brought back home from the conflict that has kept them separated for many years. However, the Federation needs all the help it can get, so, they have not even considered backing down just yet. But will the people continue to comply with the Federation's requests? Will the Federation adhere to the people's needs back home? Back at the capital, the protests will continue, as long as the war rages on. This report has been brought to you by the Federation News Service.